I know this is your first case, but it should be pretty straightforward. I've got better things to do anyways. Okay, thank you, Chief. Are you under the influence of any kind? No. So what you're telling me I can't put in my reports? I found you on the side of the road. You look kind of rough. Can you tell me anything about that? Before you found me, I'd been walking down the road for a couple hours. Um, were you with anyone? I... I was with my friends, Mark and Steve. Okay. When was the last time you saw them? So I'm guessing this is what you are talking about earlier. Something about the, tr the tree monster? Okay, look, I can't put the words tree monster in my report. I'm, I'm telling you the truth. Okay, let's say I believe you. Um, what were you guys even doing up there? Well, my friends and I were up at Braidwood Forest on a dare. We we're gonna get 50 bucks if we survived the whole night. No phones, no games. Nothing. Man, we really came all the way out here just as Thomas dared us to. Ah, dude, I'm here for the money. Why do we gotta choose this there, though? We've never been camping in our lives. I'd rather run around the school naked. Around the whole school naked? Nah, wouldn't be me. <laughs> hey, but I didn't even bring any water, though, so what do I know? Well, all I brought is like five pounds of beef jerky and alarmingly low amounts of water. It's gonna be a blast. Huh? I mean, might not be that bad though. That's where we're going. Can you tell me about this Braidwood Forest? Yeah, it's one of the stories that runs through a town. Every summer when people go camping up there, they always seem to go missing. Especially the kids. High schoolers go up there and they come back down with different stories every time. So this is what you believe killed your friends, something in this forest? Do you have any way to prove that's 100% real? Where's Mark? Where's Steve? Something out there got them. Can you give me a minute? Oh, do you have a minute? Alright. I've been going through the case you gave me, and you mentioned two of his friends, Mark and Steve. Could you try to get in contact with their parents for me? Yeah, of course. Hey, how's it going in there, by the way? Uh, he claims a monster from an urban legend killed his friends. I just, I just think they're very underprepared up there, and just it went wrong for them. Do you believe it? Not a bit. They just seem a bunch of scared teenagers. Mm, all right. Well, I'll look into finding those parents. Okay. Thanks again. Hey, Jim. Can I get you something to drink? Jim. Oh. Uh. No. No. no nothing. So. What happened once you got to the brave forest? Man, hurry up and get that firewood. All right, all right. This insects driving me crazy. So what are you gonna do with your 50 bucks? Me? I'm gonna quit my job. Make a live off that kind of money. 50 bucks? Yeah, you know it. You know how much fried chicken I can buy with that money? How much? Two 16 pieces, family packs. Woo. Popeyes. That's a lifestyle. Mom always said I was a family man. Hey man, check this out. Whoa. Is that actual blood? I don't know. Scratch marks too, though. You think that monster did this? <laughs> That's probably a bear or something. I don't know, man. Hey, but take my picture with it. Bro, your phone? Steve's gonna kill you, found out. Man, I don't care about Steve. Always talking about those rules and junk. Makes my brain hurt. Just take the photo. He doesn't have to find out. All right. All right, lean down a little bit. All right, arch your back. Should I drop the firewood? Yeah, yeah, drop the firewood. Oh uh, yeah, there we go. And I just said no. Ah, wouldn't be me. Yo, what the heck? Hey, what happened to all our stuff? The heck? Hey, 
yo, Steve ate all the beef jerky. Where's yours and Steve's chair though? I don't know, he probably ran off with them. Man, the chips too. Where is that fool? Where's Steve though? Hey guys. Bro, where you been? Dude, getting firewood. Man, firewood, you ate all the food. Me? Man, that was probably you. You're the one who's getting hungry all the time. No, I know you're not trying to blame this on me. I had a witness, bro. A witness. You're trying hey, to blame on me. Let's calm down. Hey, let's calm down. Obviously, Steve didn't eat the food. He was out getting firewood. Maybe something else. Something else? I bet you was the monster. Bro, we got proof, too. So, where'd you find this? Up there, Over those there. hills. Told you there was a monster. Man, how do we know it's a monster? Dude, we're in the woods. Food, and I didn't eat that food, then I bet you that monster ate it. What else did it? And then we just separated for a little bit, sat down and let off some steam. So your friend Steve kind of got frightened because he might have saw something in the forest. Did you guys actually ever see the monster? Well, definitely saw something. Yo, where's Steve going? Hey, Steve! Hey, we should go get him. Yeah. And then Steve went after whatever he saw in the forest. Hey, what are you writing? Don't worry about that. Hey, you promised me a monster. Can I hear about that? And that's when I ran to you. Thank you, Jim. This will be a big help for your case. We'll be looking into your friend's disappearance. Oh, it's not a disappearance. I've been telling you this. Something out there killed them. You should probably go, Jim. Well, Jim, stay safe. Hey, Bert. Yeah? Glad I caught you. Uh, here's the parents' contact info, just like you wanted. Thanks. And hey, looks like you did some good work in here. Not bad for your first case. Thanks, Chief. Hi, is this Mark's mom? Yes. I'm Officer Berg down at the police station, and I got a tip from Mark's friend Jim that he could be lost in Bregwood Forest. Jim? I've met all of Mark's friends, and I've never met a gym. Well, he went camping with your son Mark and their friend Steve. No, it was just Mark and Steve. I dropped them off myself. 